Hey everyone, so this is kind of where I left you in the last video. We built up our server with some basic setup and we built our tables out. Let's get rid of some of this, these files. We don't need them now. Now we need to worry about our routes. So let's create this folder. I'm gonna call it routes. And inside routes, I am gonna create user routes.js. We're gonna start off with the user because you're, you're gonna need the user to create a profile or to create a, to create some posts. So start off with const express equals require. We're going to bring in express. All right, we need to set up that router with express dot router. Oh, parentheses, don't forget that. Okay, and the DB, which is coming in from index in our models, in our model, models folder. So let's just navigate to models. And since it's called index, we don't need to specify index.js. So a little shortcut for us. And just before we forget, let's mod uh, module.exports and export our router. Um, this is kind of the formula for all of our other fold, all the other routes. So let's just get it out of the way. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and create the profile routes. That's going to be the next thing I want to create. Uh, put and let's paste that. Just paste. We're good. Let's add another one in here. Uh, this one is going to be post, so post routes.js. That's awesome. So from here, we could go into server.js and then just set up the routes to begin with. Uh, but we'll get to it later. Right now, let's just focus on user. So I'm going to set up the post request. First thing I want to do is add a new user. So let's make it forward slash new. And then request result. All right, start up this arrow function in here and db.user, so that's the model we're trying to talk to, and we want to create. So let's put an object in here, and let's um, look at what it's expecting. What kind of data is it expecting? Uh, the username, so let's just copy, <clears throat> copy and paste it right here, and it's gonna be rec.body.username, all right? Uh, we're going to send this in rec.body. So then what do we want to do? What It's going to return back that new user we just created. So let's just send it right back just as a like confirmation. So we know what's, we know it was successful. So new user. Awesome. Let's save this out. Uh, we got to go, <clears throat> let's close this down, get into server.js. See, we ended up needing to go in here anyways. So let's get over. Oh, well. That's kind of redundant. Okay, so we got to bring in that user route. So let's say user routes equals require and then throw the path to that user route. So routes slash user routes. All right, now we need to use it. So app.use and what, what's the, where do we need to send that off to? So let's say users forward slash API. Let's not forget API in here. I might want to put client in later. So I just, for the habit of it, I just want to put API and then use that user routes. We might as well just finish it off. So let's say profile routes require. Um, and this wouldn't work if we didn't, if we weren't exporting something from that profile routes um, page. So because we set it up with express.router and we export it out, this won't create a problem for us. So now we need to come down and we need to use it. <clears throat> Again, I'm using API here because I may want to set up client routes later that doesn't have that API before. So I'll just have that at the forward slash for like home. So use that. All right. And again, let's finish this off. So with post routes, and require the same way like we did with profile and user routes. Nothing much changes here using express to create routes to serve our content here. Uh, we need to use it at the bottom here. Um, you want to make sure it starts with the forward slash before API. It'll give you give you issues if you forget that for one of them. And it'll be at posts. So post routes. Okay, and it's important to know how those that path kind of adds up. Um, Let's, let's run it, make sure we're not getting any errors here. Great, that works. Awesome. Uh, so we gotta hit our localhost 3000. Let's uh, set up our favorite 
tool, Postman. This is a backend developer's favorite tool here. Alright, uh, got to open up a new query here. Let's throw that to 3000. We're going to change this to a post. We're going to create our new user. So API new. Oh, but remember, if we look back here, let's go back. We set it up as API users. You can see that right there, API users. And then you come over to user routes and then it's forward slash new. You can see that there. So let's go into Postman and make sure the URL is correct. API forward slash users new. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, make sure to select body. I always forget that. Whoa. Okay, so um, let's say username and let's just give them a name. Uh, I'm gonna use my name, uh, Geek Centric. So a screen name sometimes I like to go by, steal it, go for it. Uh, yeah, and that's because it's expecting username right here. So that's that relates to this. We can't change the name. All right, so let's send this off and see what we get. Uh, and it looks like it returns back the user that we just created, uh, which makes sense because we set that up with res.send, right? So let's create a new bo new guy here, nerd boy. All right, so there's our new user. This is great. Let's let's create a way so we can um, get all of our users. That'll be important because right now it's just theoretical. It's just sending something back that we sent to it. Uh, let's get on, give us some space here and say router. Make it under a get request. And this is just going to be a request to get all of these, all of our users here. So just like any other express route, request result, arrow function. So table name, DB table name, uh, find all. And again, this is just finding all of our users. Um, but I also want to see all the things it's related to. Um, so let's include, and it's going to take an array in here. And remember in models how we set this up. So let's say db.profile and let's also see the posts that are associated with our user um you know and gosh we 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 can create our user and we can receive the user but like what do you think it's gonna show if we haven't created any profile or posts we'll find out uh it's gonna return all users so let's just send back all the users that were sent to us um yeah, so let's see. Let's look through here, make sure there's no errors. Uh, I'm going to get into Postman, and it's a really similar query URL here. So let's just paste that. Um, yep, uh, get. We're going to keep it at a get, uh, and we need to change that to all. So users slash all. All right, let's send this out. And there we go. We can see we get empty arrays. And that makes sense. We haven't really created any ways to create profiles and posts. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. But let's just see what happens when we comment this out. Uh, let's make a new request. Awesome. So that makes sense, right? So comment it out and you won't see any of that. Let's bring it back. Make sure I didn't break it. In the next video, let's finish up the profile and post routes. And that'll be the end of this API project.